face out. He's like, I'm going to stay out a little bit longer during this heat wave. And it's like, sir, let your ego go. Like, this is Africa. This is not like back at home. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Talk Wow. Your girl Tay here, and I'm bringing you another review of Naked and Afraid XL Valley of the Banished Season 6, Episode 8, Keep Your Frenemies Close. Okay, so we have the survivalists have 21 days remaining. Uh, they're, they are on day 19. Let's start with uh, Team Murder Puddle. So y'all already know. They left off. The girls, their feet were hurting. They were on. Ryan was getting a little annoyed because he wanted to beat the heat. Uh, they are on their way to uh, Camp Gwes. Uh, Gwen and Wes. Y'all know I made up that nickname for them. So they're on their way there. Okay. So uh, while they are walking day uh, 19, Gwen and Wes are, you know, at camp rationing out uh, their food. Uh, Wes goes out to uh, hunt again and he gets a uh, cliff spring. We already know Africa got all these different type of antelope, deer type animals, you know, all shapes and sizes. It was like one of those small little animals. So he gets one of those and, you know, he and Gwen celebrate, they eat. Uh, Sarah, Chef John, Suzanne, and Ryan uh, finally arrive. Wet a uh, guest. I'm gonna call them that. Gwen and Wes, you know, had a little attitude in the beginning. They didn't weren't expecting Suzanne, Suzanne, and Suzanne's like, you know, I'm not lazy. I'm gonna uh, carry my weight or whatever. And you know, things moved over, and um, they fed them. They gave them some food, water, um, and it was really nice. And so now it's not Team Myrtle P Puddle. It is Camp Oasis the six pack okay so they have all teamed up okay uh night 19 for them uh some hyenas could smell the meat of the cliff springer so they were around uh the bombers and stuff like that uh the team murder puddle when they came they started setting up a bomber and stuff like that so they had two uh bombers west west had their own bomber and X team murder pop puddle has, has their own bomb as well with Suzanne. Day 20, everybody is working on something. Nobody's just sitting around lazy, like everybody's working, okay? Day 21, West and uh Ryan go out to hunt. Uh uh, it was a heat wave that happened on day 21 and that affected everybody, okay? West headed back to camp, but Ryan has this ego because he's been hunting with a bow all his life that and he still hasn't got anything while out in africa this ego i hope it doesn't take him out he stays out he's like i'm gonna stay out a little bit longer during this heat wave and it's like sir let your ego go like this is africa this is not like back at home okay it's, this this is not where you grew up you didn't grow up in africa like you gotta relax Calm down, hydrate, and um, get your head in the game because if not, you're going to be taken out. And you already know I like Ryan, so he needs to get himself together. Okay, Ryan, get it together. So for Blue Lance, y'all already know he was on the move and he seen some fire smoke and he links up with Seth. You know, they talk and stuff like that. Seth says, I'm, you know, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten and um, Belen's like, yeah, I've been eating, you know, well and stuff like that. Then he's like, well, I'm going to, you know, find an area a few yards away since you have a nice water source here. And I'm going to set up, you know, my my bowman shelter here and um, we'll be neighbors and stuff like that. <laughs> I'll check on you from time to time, but, you know, and um, he leaves and stuff is like, that is so messed up that I told him that I was hungry and I haven't eaten and he didn't even offer me anything. Like... That's so messed up. And Boomin goes a few yards away, starts working on his bomb and shelter and stuff like that, gets his fire started. Uh, night 19, he and Seth, you know, deal with the wild dogs in the area, okay? Uh, day 20, Boomin catches some frogs and uses it as bait to fish. He catches two turpins. Mm. And he had eggs in them. I was, my stomach is curling even thinking about it. Ugh. And he says he doesn't need Seth bow and arrows. Oh, okay. So he went to Seth and um, asked him if he could, you know, use the bow and arrow. And Seth was, 
Seth was like, no, I need the bow and arrow. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go hunt and sit in the blind. And you know, and that's that's what it was. And Bullet was like, okay, okay. So Bullet went and barehanded killer got him some frogs and you know put him on the line and got him some turbans. <laughs> uh, but he said if Seth uh, will come ask him for some food, he would basically tell him no because Seth told him no to holding the bow and arrows. Okay, so on to Seth. Okay, day 20, he doesn't get anything sitting in the blind hunting. He goes back to camp and he can smell Zulant, you know, cooking. Day 21, he goes hunting and he finally hits um, some type of small deer like animal. He hits it in the butt though and he follows the blood trail but he can't find the animal. He heads back to camp for some water because he's finishing his search. But the heat is the heat wave. The, the the heat wave hit him. Okay, uh, so he's like trying to stay in the shade. He's saying he thinks he's gonna pass out. He uh, meets up with Bulin and calls Bulin, and Bulin is like so annoyed. He goes up there. He's like, "What's up, man?" He's like, "Could you give me some water?" And Bulin gives him some water and stuff like that. He hydrates, and um, he tells Bulin that he can hold hold the bow since he helped him. Um, he heads back to his camp and his nose starts bleeding and he says he can't breathe, produces rush in, calls in the medic, Seth says he has to tap, he doesn't have energy to finish his journey. Uh, when he was leaving, he was saying F the haters and all of that, like that, because basically this was his re in redemption. Boy, you was, you kept saying you were hunting, you hunting, you ain't do nothing. You didn't do anything, so it's really not your redemption. You really didn't do anything. So, XLR update. We got Blue Lynch uh, from a 5.8 to a 6.4. Seth from a 5.1 to a 4.6. And uh, the Camp Oasis, the six pack. I'm not saying all that freaking names. Uh, 6.2, the, their XLR. So follow me on all social media at Let's Talk Wild. I'll throw in my cash app and my WordPress. I enjoyed this episode. It's really good. Uh, I knew Seth was going to tap, and I already knew Bullet was not going to help him out. So, yeah, that's that on that. Uh, I think that Wes is, I think, yeah, I think that Wes is, is going to clash with Chef John. That is my next uh, prediction. I think he's going to freaking clash with him because I guess, I feel like it might be an easy. Now, this isn't, isn't confirmed, it's just my thoughts. That maybe, you know, because Chef John isn't a hunter and stuff like that, I think that Wes may uh, feel some type of way about that because he may think he's not pulling his weight because he's a man and, and stuff like that. But everybody's not that. And everybody isn't, you know, that's just not them. They have other skills. But that's just my prediction. We'll see what happens in the next following weeks and i'll talk to you guys next time make sure you follow me make sure you like make sure you share bye <laughs>